I love this pistol so much, just buddy. Oh, Miss Vicky's chips! How dare you put Miss Vicky's chips on the ground? Miss Vicky's jalapeno chips, the best chips in the world. Cabron, you make promotion. Maybe they they sue, sue you. No, no, we're sponsored by Miss Vicky's chips. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> Seventy, seventy, seventy-five aluminum aircraft aluminum. This is your toughest aluminum you can get your hands on. It's actually pretty expensive. This is what they use for spaceships and uh, aircraft. It's pretty light, but it's really hard. Uh, it's a hard material. So I don't know how they did that. Seventy, seventy-five is the toughest rate for aluminum as far as the hardest aluminum you can get. Got uh, four panels. About an inch thick on each panel. That's four inches. Right, just ready? Yes. For start, we're gonna go with the Rex 01S sent to us by kvar.com. K-var.com. They also sent us the Vepper 12 or 1203. It's a shotgun. So thanks to them for hooking us up with uh, these two guns. It uh, feels right. High quality material. You can tell just by grabbing it. Just ready, give me a zoom in on this one. Look at this beauty. Look how nicely it's designed. Safety on both sides. Super smooth, high quality. It's about like 600 bucks or so. It compares to your uh, $1,400 pistols. Put all three in there. What do you think? No, too much. <laughs> no, okay, not. okay, okay, all three. Okay, there it is. Let's go check it out. Clear, nothing happened. The bullet disintegrated on the surface. A cabron! Yeah, I know. This is going to be a tough aluminum. Okay. Next round. Wait, wait, wait. What? What? Chip. <laughs> I come for the chip, not for the aluminum. Desert Eagle, chambered 50 AE. Right there. Oh, right there. <laughs> Let me shoot that one. Huh? I can shoot one. Oh yeah, come shoot it here. That one. Of because course. I would, my, my... Cabron, don't, why are you even asking me? It's your channel. Ah, cabron! <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. How many? Just it was one round in there. One round? Okay. But you have to chamber it in. No, it's in already. No, no? it's not. That's just the hammer cocked back. Ay, cabron. Okay, now it's in. Okay, yeah. Ready? Ready. Okay, fire in the hole. Ah, uh, too low. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Hold this. I <laughs> <missed>. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see why I miss. Why? Because I closed my eyes before shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're flinching, huh? <laughs> yeah. Let me shoot one more time. That's it. Okay, here. It's ready to go? It's ready to go. Okay, now. I keep my eye open and then I hit. Watch. Okay, yeah. Please keep your eyes open. Oh, nice shot. Right in the middle. Right in the center. Well, not really center. Not really right. center, but, but in the middle. <laughs> it's in the middle. <laughs> it's in the middle level. Well, exactly. I, I aim over there. Nothing happened, really. It's not even one millimeter of a surface damage. Oh my God. This alum Are you sure it's <laughs> aluminum? Yeah, this is what they use in aircrafts. Oh yeah, it looks like it, it is light. Yeah, it's super wow. light. It's super tough. Wow. Next. What do I do next? Just go rifles? Uh, Let's just go rifles. Using the Galil AS sent to us by Gun Prime and IWI. This is one of my favorite AK platform rifles so far, foldable stock. There's three rounds in there, I think. And then one on the aluminum. Missed? Oh, maybe uh, I put four. You missed. Ah. <laughs> Welcome to the missing channel. Yes, we miss we co because we close our eyes. I think we keep the eye open and we hit the target. <laughs> Cabron, don't close your eyes. Cabron, I'm scared. To, ri to ricochet. Yeah. Me too. Oh. Ah, too high. Okay, well, you got one in. No, it's okay. 
Yo, hit good. Oh yeah. Now it's taking a chunk off. Oh yeah. That's about a quarter inch thick. I mean a quarter inch deep. Yes. If you want it in millimeter, that's about 10 millimeters. Not bad. Next round. Okay, next is gonna be a Tavor X95 sent to us by Gun Prime. Oh, and I'm gonna use the 556 five, green tips. That's for you ready? I'm ready. This goes right in there, snaps in, charging on the left, lock and load, iron sights for backup. I still haven't put a scope on this, so we'll just use the iron sights. It's actually pretty accurate. See? Two. Uh, mag release on both sides on this. You hit that, pops open from the back. Clear. Holy moly! Look at those nice beautiful holes. One over there, one over there. Any bulging on the back? Nope. No bulging, but that's a... Uh, that went deeper than the 762 by 39. Right, Jasper? Yes. Okay, next round. Next is gonna be a SCAR 17. Thanks to Vortex for sending the scope. It shoots a 762 by 51, also 308. We'll put that in there. Lock and load, Jasper, you ready? I'm ready. Fire in the hole. Oh yeah, did much more damage on the the whole thing. It went in deeper than the 762 by 39, obviously, and more damage on the surface. Almost half an inch. Yeah, about half an inch deep. Not bad. So these are the 556 five, green tips, 762 by 39, and the 308. Next round. Okay, before I go to the next round, I, I wanna go back to the 5.7. Uh, this is one of my uh, favorite rounds right now. So I got the green tip and the blue tip. The green tip is for military and law enforcement only. It's very hard to come by. And this is more of a common round, the blue tip one. So we'll put the green one first. Woo. And then the blue one second so that means the blue one's gonna hit first let's try to keep an eye on this one blue one first on the right and then the green one on the left ah missed great <laughs> okay ready i'm ready round two for the green one did you see where it hit uh no i closed my eyes <laughs> <laughs> uh, right over here and the other one is this one here. Yeah, this one. So, the green one did a lot better damage. Yes. It's about two millimeters two deep. Two millimeters, and is the about other one, one is uh, half, half. And the diameter is a lot larger on the, uh, on the green tip versus that blue tip. So, okay, so it's very obvious these green tips are designed for what they're supposed to do. More damage, penetration, and surface damage. And I think they're going super, they're going faster too, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, back to rifle round. What was I doing? Let me go check. Okay. I'll be back. Let me just put this one here and then I'll hand it over to you. It's a 338 Lapua, right over there. Should using an AWM, Accuracy International. Just buddy. You're, You're gonna have to chamber it in yourself. It's kind of heavy, you just. Right, come on. Kinda? It's heavy. Yeah. Oh. Ay papa, night force scope on it. Uh, everyone's a favorite PUBG rifle. Okie dokie. Are you ready? I uh, was born ready, cabron. Okay, ready, fire in the hole. <laughs> you hit it? Yeah, in the bottom. Can you clear that puppy? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll go over there, you go put the rifle away. 
Yeah, I took it. It took a chunk out, but still interesting enough. It's not going through. Oh yeah. Look, it took a huge chunk. That's your regular 308. That's the 338 Lapua. 762 by 39 and 556. I should bring a sharpie and just write them all out. You ready? I'm the ready. Big boy? I'm super ready. Let's go. With the big boy? Yeah. The big one. <laughs> I wanted to see what the shotgun does. <laughs> Thanks to KVAR again for uh, sending us the Vepper 12, the 1243. It's a shotgun uh, designed on the AK-47 platform. Comes with a pick rail on top, folding stock. Let me, whoa, I got too much stuff in my hand. Let me, oh, magazine fed, let's not forget that. Folding stock right over here. Safety on both sides. If you wanna release this, this opens up like that. How cool is that? So shotgun, this is one of the best things you can probably have for home defense. It's magazine fit, you can put a scope on it, red dot or whatever you want on it. The um, cheek rest, it uh, slides left and right. So depending which direction you wanna shoot it. Uh, iron sights, I think it's an 18 or 19 inch uh, barrel. And I loaded the first round. Oh, this also comes with a bigger magazine. I think it's a 10 or 15 rounder, I'm not sure. But this is a five rounder. And I loaded up with the bird shot, just gonna shoot it, see what happens. And the next round is gonna, well, I might as well put the next round. It's a Fioki slug, one ounce slug. You know what, let's go, let's go Fioki first. Slug first. <laughs> Perfect, hold on. Okay, here we go. And this slides right in there. You don't need to rock it back and forth in an angle. Just for you ready? I'm ready! And just like an AK, you pull the charging handle, load it, and fire. Woo! That had a good kick. Look at the smoke coming out. Thanks again to KVAR. There's your spread. Nothing happened with those little BBs. There's your uh, slug right over there in the center. Oh, we did hit our chips. That's not good. But, that's a decent um, damage for a slug shot. Uh, thanks KVAR for sending this over. Check them out, kvar.com, k-var.com. Questions, you wanna go to the next round, the big boy? Uh, yes. Okay, let's get back there. Okay, next, we're gonna do the 50 BMG from Serbu Firearms. I'm gonna do two rounds. It's very rare I shoot a full metal jacket, but everyone always asks for a FMJ. So we'll do FMJ and armor piercing incendiary, the silver tip. Okay, that's pretty. What do you think is gonna happen? Okay, uh, full metal jacket go through. All of it? Uh, yes. I don't know. Yeah, cabron. You think so? I think so. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's ready? Yes. Ready, cabron. I'm ready. Is it recording? Uh, let me see. Yes! Fire in the hole. <laughs> well. This is clear, let's go. Cabron! Went through the first one. Wait, what happened? Wait, wait, wait. Did it stop on the second one? Yeah. The second one, I think, is that one. Oh, this, this one? Oh, it's this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, this is some tough aluminum. Okay, I don't remember if you guys remember <laughs> that I've shot those uh, two and a half inch aluminum blocks. Oh, that's the copper one. Never mind. I never. Oh, it's here. How the heck am I like seeing these bullets? Is that. Ah! I cut myself here and I burned myself here. There's the bullet right there. That's a steel core, full metal jacket. So went in the first one, which is super impressive. This is only one inch thick and it stopped on the second one. It only put about a quarter inch damage on the second plate. 
Okay, this stuff is really uh, strong. Now I understand why they're using in aircrafts and stuff. Because remember if it, on the thicker one, it was three inches thick? Yeah. It went in through like the first one and the second one, I think. Mm, I, yeah. And the bullet got stuck inside of it. And that was almost like five, six inches. This is only one inch went in and then stopped on the second one. Inch and a half. That's, that's impressive. Yes. <laughs> oh, let's do armor piercing. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't remember if I shot with a uh, full metal jacket on that aluminum. Maybe that's why. Oh. Oh, that's why. I was I was using only ar uh, armor piercing incendiaries. Let's go check. Let's go check. Hold on. Next round, armor piercing incendiary. API. That's pretty ready. I'm ready. Why not? <laughs> Look at that cloud of smoke. <laughs> Clear. Oh. Oh, holy moly. So went in through the first one. It blacked out the whole surface. It exploded on the surface. Okay. Came out right there. Nice clean hole. Went inside. <laughs> Here's the bullet. <laughs> went right inside the second one. Came right out of the second one. And it penetrated this uh, third one. Okay, at the end of the day, the result, this this aluminum is a lot tougher than the other ones I've shot. And the other ones, it went in almost uh, two, two plates and those plates were almost three inches thick. And this is only two and a half inches. Technically, technically stopped on the second one, two inches. That's pretty good. Not bad, right? That's it! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.